Hello, dear chess friends, and welcome to our new video. Here I will continue analyzing match uh, Magnus Carlsen plays in Dubai against Jan Pomnyasci, and here you will uh, you will see the analyze of uh, game number three. Uh, game number three in the match, Jan Pomnyasci led white pieces against Magnus Carlsen, and let's see what happened in that game. After e4, e5 was played, and knight f3, knight c6, again Magnus responses with e5, bishop b5, a6, bishop a4, knight f6. Uh, to be fair, I think that's just a matter of time. Uh, Magnus will switch to his favorite Sveshnikov, but maybe I would go wrong. So let's just focus to the match. After white castling, bishop e7, rook e1, b5, bishop b3, castling once again. Instead of h3 was played in first game, once again white avoids c3 and goes for anti martial move a4. So now black cannot get favorite position from martial attack with d5. So after bishop b7, d3, black decide to go for d6. Where after d6, knight bd2 was played and after rook e8, white follows the famous route for replacing that knight that is knight f1 move which was played so knight can go to e3 or g3 as well after h6 bishop d2 idea is in most of lines to control that key important squares so to eliminate black counter play with knight a5 and c5 maybe and also to intend himself to put bishop on annoying spot on a5 sorry not on b5 of course but on a5 other possibility would be seen very soon so after bishop f8 normal move knight e3 knight e7 white goes for a bit strange a bit shocking a bit ugly as well but still maybe the best move here that is move c4 with that move white wants to fight against move d5 in some moment and wants to uh, secure uh, ultimate spot for his bishop on c3 so white wants to force black to get decision now black is on the crossroad c6 is ugly sorry because blocks the bishop and white can take in any moment or just wait i would suggest knight h4 to stop a relocation of that knight here knight g6 would be of course uh fatal for black because after just knight g6 this white will just capture the pawn with check so what i want to say that white keeps some plus after c6 uh, instead of c6 actually, if black takes here, okay, no problem, bishop a4, and suddenly black is in huge problem. After that move, uh, black is, I think, almost hopeless, because c5 will crush his pawn structure, and after taking, I think that position is strategically winning for white. Just see black awfully placed pieces and so desperately harm pawn structure. So still there is a lot of poison in move c4, and in that moment, black played normally the best move, taking on c4. And after knight takes c4, now we see point of Jan. He wanted to secure c4 for his knight. From there, knight puts pressure on d6. Sorry. Uh, put pressure on d6. Uh, puts pressure on e5, preventing black move d5. And also, intent, there is intention to get that a5 square. Knight c6. Now black uh, goes to logical spot for that knight. But... Instead of that, maybe there would be other possibilities, maybe like rook b8, etc. Okay. Uh, such normally looking move, like c5 with the idea to install knight somewhere, uh, will fall due to this shocking, re shocking response, shocking resource for white. So definitely there are a lot of tricks in that position. Position may look calm and uh, easy to play and la uh, lazy and boring, <coughs> but still there is a lot of things black must take care so here knight c6 was played now such sacrifices are not working and after peaceful play rook c1 a5 bishop c3 bishop c8 white finally decided to go for strike in the center with d4 to go for initiative okay e takes d4 knight takes d4 knight takes queen takes and bishop e6 h3 was played, normal move I think, and after c6, bishop c2. Uh, that move is a bit risky because that allows black to play d5 with the, uh, without problems. Maybe instead of all that moves, there will be just good for white to play this. 
Well, to open that bishop, who knows, maybe in some moment there will be good to take. For instance, that will prevent probably black move d5. Never mind. Let's go on with the game. h3, c6, and after bishop c2 was played, black went for d5. And here, naturally, white plays e5. He takes d, <coughs> will definitely liberate all black pieces. He will have perfect possibility of knight d5. That pawns actually are not weak, and white has problem. Uh, he cannot take on c5. You see, that pawn is well defended. Then black knight on d5 wants to take the bishop. Uh, here, bishop pair would be significant advantage. So that's why white decided to play e5. After e5, d takes c4, queen d8, rook e d8, ef, black played bishop b4. Interesting possibility. Of course, black didn't want to take because white will be practically pawn up. Uh, such moves like g6, okay, that would help white to play bishop g6. And g5 would be risky because that pawn now survives. And as even more important, black loses time. Now that can be tempting. Of course, black must not take because then uh, rook e4 with transferring rook with decisive attack. So black decided to play bishop before this. Uh, okay, fg taking taking and black felt that position is holdable and it really should be holdable because mostly of fixed pawn on a4. White is practically pawn up there. Black has double pawns, but the point is white doesn't have action with his bishop c2. If bishop moves anywhere, black will have action with rook b8, rook b3, rook d3, or rook d2, rook d, rook a2, and uh, a lot of action uh, will be possible for black. So white decided to play king f1, and after rook a b8, both partners, both players just went for simplifications, and here there is that draw because no side can make progress after setting pawns on dark. Of course, there is nothing. And white set barrier with f3 and h4 and both opponents agree draw in that moment. So maybe uh, that was the game with, uh, with much less play than game number one and game number two. But okay, maybe opponents just are tired after game number three. There will be uh, three days. So I expect to see a real fire on the board in game number four. Stay with us. Thanks for supporting us. Subscribe to our channel if you forgot about it and uh, stay tuned so you will get the best analysis and you will uh, be informed about every everything important happening in the chess world. See you soon with new video. Bye bye.